Well, we both met at Asbury College, a small Christian school in uh, Kentucky near Lexington, Wilmore, Kentucky. And uh, Jen came a year after I started and we met at the swim pool during one of the college swim meets. I grew up in a family with five kids. I was homeschooled and our family was really tight. And, uh, I really appreciated and respected the way my parents did that. And then Jenny had studied elementary education, so she already Loved had- Loved kids, wanted to have kids yeah, right away. Chosen to be involved with kids. And we both worked at summer camps, so even before we got married, we talked about having kids and maybe even adopting more kids. Well, like you said, we had always been open to adoption. We just never thought it would be our only option. And so there was definitely a loss there, but there was still that hopefulness of saying, okay, well, we know that we have another avenue that we can build our family by. But I think the loss felt more like we weren't coming from somewhere that felt as whole. We were like, more like we were hoping to add children to our family than us offering our family to children, if that makes sense. We decided to become certified as foster family and uh, we went through training there because Jenny found there are a lot of kids waiting for permanent placement in a home. Maybe they're in a group home or maybe they're bouncing around different foster homes. So she, we decided maybe we can foster. And the goal is always to reunite those kids with their natural families mm -hmm. if that works out. But if not, we could offer them a permanent home to uh, uh, adoption. Yeah. I went on adoptuskids.org and just seeing their faces really just made it personal for me and being able to offer our family at that point and then it turned to that our case was one that turned into adoption five years later. So it took a really long time for us to adopt our girls, um, but we got to know them from when they were very young and see them through the whole case and be their only placement out of the home, which I thought was, you know, there's trauma in adoption always, but first placement in a foster home was okay. More continuity for them. So we felt most called to help with the foster care first in our community. But with all the turmoil that we kind of, the up and down and the lack of control and just feeling really helpless in the foster care system, the either you're pregnant or you're not pregnant just seemed like a really good closure to pursue um, with embryo adoption. The neat thing about the embryo adoption too is there's a lot more positive partnership at every step of the way uh, between the donor family, the doctor, the donation center, and the adoptive family. I felt confident with choosing the NADC because I felt like their heart was all in it. It was their focus. They had established a way of doing things. They um, were doing the best that they could with the science that they had. They just had the same heart that I did for the embryos. And you could see that they were using all of their skills to that end to give these babies life. And they also had, um, they had a, a, a wide variety of embryos. You know, I mean, some agencies they had a couple or a few and I just I liked the idea of being able to choose from thousands and hundreds of profiles <laughs> available. I think I've seen the image of God in a different way because I think when biological parents have their babies oh it looks like you or it looks like me but just seeing how God values everyone and just the anticipation of who is this person that God created and this person that God loves and that we get to love and that special um, bond we have because he made us a family and the bond that we have with Jesus because he's made us part of his family. So just, I think that piece of seeing how much God loves us individually and how he made us to reflect his glory and then how he made us for each other and for him. I think that piece has been really wonderful. Grace has been baptized. Ruby's talking about wanting to be baptized and how that's, uh, a visual demonstration of putting an old life behind and starting a new life. And um, and we tell the kids that we've been adopted into God's family. So uh, I think they feel right at home being in the church, knowing that everybody in the church has been adopted by faith. So we believe that God sets the needy into families and they're the neediest, they're totally dependent. And so we're just thankful to know there are places like the NEDC that have taken stewardship of those embryos and committed to giving them a chance at life and at families.